Hello and welcome to your next guitar lesson. This week we're going to be spending a couple of weeks looking at the song Ghostbusters. Really, really iconic and really, really fun song to play. So today we're going to be looking at the intro part, which I'm going to play along with the track now. Um, and we're going to be utilising all of our fingers for this intro part. It's, um, you know, it's, it's quite tricky on your fingers. And then next week's is going to be doing single note runs and also looking at the five chords in this as well. So I'm going to play the full song at the start here. Um, and then I'll replay the part we're going to be learning today along with the track as well. So here's all of the song that you will be learning over the next two weeks. So that is everything you'll learn over the next two weeks. Um, but now we're going to focus on that first part. So let's get into this. Okay, so the part you're going to be learning today is this. So I'll just play that along with the track as well so you can hear how that goes. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit as well so you can hear the track in the background. So there you have it. Now this first part is always really, really fun to play. Whenever I show anybody this for the first time, um, they always just have a lot of fun literally just doing this and ignoring what we're actually doing in any of the songs. So it's called the slide. And we're basically going to slide from the second fret of our A string of our first finger. And the idea with a slide is you want to be pressing down, but not pressing down so hard that you feel like you're bouncing over each of the frets. You want to just press down, keep the pressure down, but not a lot of pressure so that you can slide along so there isn't too much friction. And you're going to slide all the way to the 14th fret and back up again. So you're going to pick that second fret to that 14th fret and slide back up. So look where your destination is. Your destination is that 14th fret. So you can look in two past the 12th fret where the two dots are. So, let's have a little go at this intro part now. Like I said, we're going to be using all of our fingers, and it's in second position. Remember when we talk about position numbers? So second position just means the second fret. A position number is a fret number. And you're going to be starting at the second fret with your first finger, because we are in second position. With your first finger on the second fret of your ear. So that's your first note. So you do your slide. Then you're going to do second fret. Then you're going to do your pinky on the D string, 5th fret. And then we do what, a chrom what we call a chromatic run in music. A chromatic run basically just means we're going one half step at a time, which is just basically one fret at a time on a guitar. If that was a piano, it would be going black key, white key, black key, white key, or white key, black key, white key, black key. So, 
We've already played our first finger on the second fret of our A. We're going to put our pinky on the fifth fret of your D string. Then our third finger, ring finger, on the fourth fret of your D. Second finger, third fret of the D string. And first finger, second fret of your D string. So you're starting. So that's basically just like going backwards on your finger exercise. Imagine you're at the second fret of your D string for your finger exercise. Imagine you've already went one, two, three, four, and now we're just doing the four, three, two, one, meaning fingers four, three, two, one. So I'll play that one more time and say what I'm doing. So it's first finger, second fret of your ear. Then you have your pinky, fifth fret of your D. Third finger, fourth fret of your D. Second finger, third fret of your D. And then your first finger on your D string, second fret. Now there's only two more notes left to play. All we're going to do is we're going to put our second finger on the third fret of your B string now. So we're jumping a few strings. And then on the G string third fret, you're going to play your first finger. So all together. So practice that over the next week. Don't forget your slide at the start as well, because I just did. There we go. Right, so next week we will look at the five chords. And I won't, well, I'll tell you what frets are on, but I'll also say what actual five chord it is rather than just a five chord from a particular fret we'll call it an a5 or a b5 depending on which one it is because that's what we looked at in our recap lesson so i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you in the next one